Hey folks, this is Johnny Guy with Home Studio Trainer for uh, Personas, and we are going to get our first look at uh, Studio One 4. Now I'm going to be like a lot of you where I haven't really dove in full head first into this, so we're going to go through some of the favorite features that I have that I first noticed going through the documentation and opening up Studio One. So the first thing that I found that I really like is uh, the new macro toolbar options. So if you look up here at the top of the screen, uh, you've actually got this new little button here that says page. We have the ability now to have two pages full of macros. So while we're not going to go through setting it all up and everything right now for this, I am going to show you page one and looking at the overview button, you can see I've got all of my events and stuff right on the screen. Uh, the cool thing about this is just with the click of a button, I can now fill up my uh, the whole real estate of the event view uh, so that I can see all of the waveforms. I've got everything from MIDI tracks to audio, and we're going to be going through some of my favorite new features here uh, for Studio One. So I want to open up with something that has a wow factor of like a million. Uh, this is the chord track, and I'm only going to show you one little feature here of the chord track. You can uh, see the icon up here at the uh, upper left, and if you open this here, it opens up like with the marker track and with the arranger track. So you've got now uh, three different views here for this upper section here at Studio One. So I'm going to start with, let me close the marker track, I'm going to close the arranger track, so then we get this chord track. Now wait until you guys see this. This is absolutely amazing. I am going to single out an acoustic guitar and we're gonna go with this one. And everybody knows uh, who's watched my live streams, uh, this is my song, Feeling the Shame, and this is the acoustic guitar track for it. Let me just solo it. Now, if I send you this song and you have all of the stems and you wanna know what I'm playing, yes, folks, watch this. I'm going to right click on that event and I am going to say, extract to chord track. Bingo. And look what happens up here at the top. I'm going to see if I can zoom in for you a little bit. It's control. Let me see if I can do this here. There we go. I'm going to zoom in right here. And this is amazing. If I stretch this out, and now I'm going to play the acoustic guitar track, and you will see that it extracted the chords from the guitar that I played starting right here. So you can see this is really good for uh, if you're working with a client and let's say he sends you just his voice and a guitar, he wants you to add a bass line. Now there's no more guessing on figuring out what chords uh, the guy is playing. This will work with bass tracks, it'll work with guitar tracks. Haven't found out yet if it works with MIDI tracks, but we'll find that out next time. But with this here, this is amazing. This is an amazing songwriting tool for songwriters and for people that are doing tracks for other artists. This is going to be an invaluable feature uh, for a lot of people that are working with clients. So that is the chord track. 